wanna be. What's good, y'all? DMD does it here, and today I'm coming at y'all with my first game review. So this all started by I was just talking to my girlfriend, talking about like what I like about the game, what I don't like about the game, and she was listening to how I sounded, and she was like, "You know what? You should do game reviews." I said, "Game reviews? Why? Why? Why should I do game reviews?" And she said, "Because the way you be sounding." You know, you sound kind of professional while you talking about the game and what you like and what you don't like about the game. So you go ahead and do some game review. So here I am. So this idea was by my girlfriend. I'm about to start doing game reviews on games that I played before. So yeah, let's jump into it. So my first impression on Mortal Kombat 11. So I just couldn't wait for the game. I already knew the game was going to be a five star top tier game i already knew it was gonna be up there did it live up to the hype you damn right it did man the story mode was so fire and then they ended that's, i'm not even gonna skip to the ending yet sub-zero and scorpion side by side man you know how long people been wanting to see that they actually united that was too fire, but I got some pros and some cons, so for my pro, the story mode was just magnificent. My fear reports was, you know, past Johnny Cage, and he hitting on, you know, he made that remark, like, man, I've been trying to hit that. You know, that was funny, and like I said, how Sub-Zero and Scorpion ended up teaming up, Liu Kang became a fire guy. Liu Kang is now a god. I can't wait for Mortal Kombat 12. Because I'm, I wonder what's going to happen. What he going to do with the time capsule? That, is that what it's called? I forgot already. But Raiden is now immortal. Now, it's a lot of people that don't like Raiden, bro. So how this about to go? Raiden is immortal. Raiden can actually die now. So how this going to go? But story mode in general like a lot of games struggle with this like making a story mode st like still feel like a game mortal kombat made this thing feel like a movie i felt like i was a movie it was so many times while i was live streaming this i i just set my controller down and i thought i was watching a movie like like some real stuff i thought i was in the, i was in the movie theater just watching a Mortal Kombat movie, then they say I gotta pick who that who I gotta fight with. I say, oh my bad. So the next thing on my pro list, I'm gonna go through all my pros, then I'm gonna get to my cons. It's the gameplay. The gameplay felt more like Mortal Kombat ever should. Mortal Kombat X was way too many X-rays. They try to stray away from blood, but Mortal Kombat needs blood. Like there's no way around it. These are niggas trying to kill each other, fighting to the death. So blood is needed. Real real talk, it is needed. But the next thing on my pro list is the Crypt. The Crypt was cool. I like how they brought back Kari Tagawa as Shang Zone. You know, but the Crypt, it's not really too much that interests me about it. It was just a cool, you know, a cool way they did it. Put the um character in third person instead of first person. And this is my thing. Did anybody catch this? So you know when you go into the heightened hive and then you have to kill spiders in order to get that piece for Shinnok's amulet, right? So if you did the Vora's ending on Mortal Kombat X, she basically made Shinnok a daddy. So you see where I'm going with this? So I don't know if that was a Mortal Kombat X reference, but if that was, I called it. So my next pro is the AI, letting the AI do your do anything for you basically, besides play online for you. But letting the AI just just putting your AI into endless towers and then just let them rack up all your coins and hearts and souls like that that is a dope idea. Like I could literally just be doing my college work or doing whatever and just have whatever AI 
just grind for me. You like that was that 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 is brilliant. So the next pro is the Towers of Time. It gave me the biggest headache doing that gauntlet, but the end of that gauntlet was very, very, very rewarding because I've been trying so hard to get this fire guy Luke Kane skin. And once I got it, once it was in my possession, I was happy. I just felt like it was all worth it. But even though the other fire guy Luke Kane skins is it looked better because especially that red one, that's the main one I really want right now. But it was still real rewarding to me. And another thing, speaking of the AI, the AI battles is fun. Like like it's really fun to watch. You can either speed it up or watch it as is. I actually get hyped by watching my AI whoop some other people AI ass. Like, like real talk, if you don't have noob as your um as your primary AI com combatant, I don't know what you're doing because I honestly don't know who can beat him besides himself. Because everybody have the same settings for him. Combos at 30, reversal at 30, and he just go to work. But that's another pro. And then this next pro is real important to me. Is It was the updates. So they realized they got so much feedback from the gauntlet, how the consumables was being used way too much. It was hard to fight the, um, the combat kids. You know, Cassie, Sonya. No, not not so on you, Cassie and um, Jackie, and then they had the Takeda and Kung Jin consumables, and it was hard. So what they did was they actually looked out for us. They patched it. They gave us five hundred coins, five hundred thousand coins, and I already had that, and so I had my first million. So I really appreciate that they actually listen to the community, unlike a lot of games do not listen to their community. And they just go about what they want to go about. But the last thing on my pro list is the character towers. The, char the towers that's in the Towers of Time at the top left. You could, you could use character type. You could select each character to do five stages. And that's their own personal tower. I like that. I finished three or four already. I did Liu Kang, Noob Sidebot, um, Collector, and I'm currently on Jax. So, I'm looking forward to doing every single character. So, before we get into my cons list. So, the first thing that happened. I recorded my cons list. Then I came back and the audio was missing. For this whole part so then I, I just was like okay there's nothing I could do about it just go ahead and re-record your part for the con so I re-record the part and the whole time when I'm recording my mic was muted my mic was muted so I was talking for nothing so if y'all can please drop a like on this video it will make me feel better because I basically just, I'm recording this part for the third time. I hope nothing go wrong with it. So let's get into this cons list for the third time. So the first thing on my cons list is the frame traps. Anytime I play online, somebody always put me in a frame trap. Like, is frame traps even supposed to be in the game? Like, comment down below if that's supposed to even be in the game. Real talk. Because... Anytime I'm playing online, I get caught in a frame trap. I can't block. I can't do nothing. I lose. I'm like, I know you have to secure the win at any cost, but god damn. Frame traps the whole time. I can't even get myself out of it, and I can't avoid it. It always happens. So, my next kind is the Kaiten Hive. That, I, I, I understand that the Crypt supposed to have the spiders and all. First off, I hate the Vor because she's a bug. I don't like her. She a bug. I don't like it. I don't like it. And I understand that Mortal Kombat X had the spiders. I ain't like that. I ain't even touched the crypt like that as soon as I saw that spider. I was like, fuck it. I didn't really know what the purpose of the crypt was until until now. I didn't know what I thought the crypt was just something extra. But I see that you gonna unlock stuff. Nah, I finished the crypt. But yeah, moving on. 
the third thing on my list was the gauntlet, but not the whole, not the entire gauntlet. Before the update, the gauntlet was hard. You know, against the combat kids, you know, they had Cassie and Jackie, and they had a Kung Jin and Takeda consumables, and it was just being spammed. You couldn't do nothing at all. And don't forget the brutality you had to do on Baraka. Those beginning stages was the most challenging stages ever. Besides 28 and 30. Nah, moving on. Because, you know, I did this for... This is the third time I did it. So, I'm sp I'm doing a speed run. So, the King of the Hill matchmaking. I don't like it. The first time I tried to go into the King of the Hill... I got matched up against somebody that was 100 wins and only 4 losses. When I went into it, he was on a 16 game win streak. How am I supposed to compete with that if that's my first time being in it? All right, I'm just trying to get my pay respect points 100 times to get my trophy. In a little update, I got all my trophies. I, have, I got the Elder God trophy now. Thank you for the applaud. Thank you so much. But... I'm supposed to be in the king of the hill, and I know I have no chance at winning while he's on the 16 win streak. So, moving on with the group battles. The group battles are fun. The only problem is the group battles is only for one character. You only versus one character with your friend. So, it's like you go into the group battle, you get your friend to go into the group battle. Y'all do the group battle. After the group battle, y'all just sitting there like, uh, what? Nah, what we gonna do now? I guess we could spar. All right, you start sparring that shit, boy. We're like, um, um, yeah, um, let's just play another game. It just forced me to play another game. Like, honestly, I don't know what else to do after that because it just becomes awkward. But moving on to my last thing is I wish that Mortal Kombat caught this. Because they called it for Mortal Kombat X. Is it's the um blood. New blood supposed to be black. But on this game it's red. Frost blood is red. Frost not even supposed to have blood. She should have been leaking oil or something like Triborg. She she should at least glitching or something. And you know Jack's arms. Yep, Jack's cybernetic arms. It got blood in it. You know when Garrus do his fatality and he basically skin your ass. When he's skin Jack's arms, there's blood. When Cabal do his fatality and he split your ass, you look at Jack's arms, there's blood. Um, is Jack's arms supposed to have blood in it? Or is his arms just cyberized? And his arms is just cyberized. His actual arms cyberized. Let me know down below. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure his whole arm is cyberized. So, I'm going to have the little clip right there. Y'all probably looking at it right now. But, the last thing we're getting into is the combat pack. Now, the combat pack, I'm about to get into this. Y'all let me know if y'all agree with this or not. But, let's get into it. So, if y'all don't know, I had I purchased the premium edition. So, I guess the combat pack early. So, I'm pretty sure on Mortal Kombat X, everybody that got the premium one, they they got all the characters. The first combat pack, I'm pretty sure they got all the characters like on the same day. Like, I don't like this release over time. I don't like it at all. The whole purpose of me getting this premium edition was because I wanted all the characters in my possession so I could play it before certain people. But nope, they want to do release over time and I don't like it. I'm, I don't like it. And I don't like the fact that I had to figure out how to get my early access to Shang Tsung. I legit had to go to the PlayStation Store to figure out myself instead of getting a notification in the game that Shang Tsung is uh, is available. The classic the classic skins was right there. Shang Tsung wasn't. So I'm like, how everybody playing with Shang Tsung and not me? Like this ain't fair. I I paid. I paid my money. Where is it? So I had to figure out myself. I didn't like that. And like I said, I don't like the releasing characters over time. It's just stupid in my opinion. I figured 
those with the combat pad would would have the access to all the characters before everyone else but that was that was false but that is my full breakdown that's my full game review that is all my opinions comment down below if you agree with any of my opinions comment down below if you disagree with any of my opinions but that is the end of my game review i'm looking forward to doing more i'm probably going to do the next game review probably going to be on world war z but y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe don't forget to remember don't stop keep grinding and i'm out